We've got to be getting close to Professor Greer's botanical gardens. Like, relax, Velma, we'll find it. Ah, like here it is. Vulture's Claw Botanical Gardens. Vulture's Raw? Like, what kind of name is Vulture's Claw? Take it easy, Shaggy. It's just a name. Yeah, that's what they said about Transylvania. <laughs> what row? That truck's heading right for us. Hold on. Jeepers, that was too close. Yeah, but look, we're here. Vulture's Claw Botanical Gardens. That truck must have been coming from here. Ooh, it's creepy. Someone must have been in an awful hurry to get away from this place. Yeah, and I suggest we follow his example. Yo! Whoa. Where do you think you're going? Uh, right way. <laughs> I'm with him. You're trespassing. Like I'm not. re either. All of you. Excuse me, I think some introductions are in order. I think some running is in order. My name is Velma and these are my friends. Fred, Daphne, Shaggy and Scooby. Professor Greer is a friend of ours. Well, I'm Keeble. Harry Keeble. Caretaker here for 20 years. And if you know what's good for you, you leave and take Professor Greer with you. There's something loose in the gardens. r r roos Something big and evil. Like what do you say we get out of here, guys? I'm allergic to big, loose, evil things. re roo No, the professor could be in trouble. Tell us, Mr. Keeble, what? He's gone. Whoa. <sighs> And so are Shaggy and Scooby. I'm sure I saw a light up ahead. Like I just hope it's daylight. Hey, we're Scooby. Come on, Shaggy. Like I'll be there in a minute, Velma. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Zoinks, it's... Ruby-Roo. Scooby, like what are you doing in there? Who are you? You mean those flowers are for me? <coughs> like, was that you, Scoob? Ro? Ru? No. Yeah. Like, I think it was him. Yeah. <coughs> like, hell. What is it, Shaggy? There's a bug in the garden. There are probably a lot of bugs in the garden. Seven feet tall? Rare. Like, does anyone have a 20-gallon can of bug spray? Yikes! <coughs> it's Professor Greer. Velma? We were in the area and decided to drop in. We must get inside. It's too dangerous out here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've been trying to catch the creature for weeks now. But where'd it come from, Professor? I'll show you. <coughs> Follow me. I hate it when doors creak like that. Daphne, Velma, like wait up! The creature showed up right after I took over Vulture's Gardens. 
and scared everyone else off. Except for Mr. Keeble. Right, Fred. Except for Mr. Keeble. And then last week, I found this. Wow! It's like something right out of a science textbook. Or a Frankenstein movie. This diary I found indicates someone made a fatal error in an experiment and was changed into a praying mantis creature, like the insects he was studying. Hmm, this is strange. There's only one entry in this diary. None before it or after it. The change affected his mind. That's understandable. And now the man's a wild creature, preying on others. <laughs> Scooby! Scoob, like get back here, man! Like, way to go, Scoob. You caught an eavesdropper. Who are you? This is Clive Diggerman, kids. He's a real estate developer that's been trying to buy Vulture's Claw from me. And with that creature running loose, I think you'd be happy to sell, Professor Greer. Nobody's scaring me out, Diggerman. Well, just remember, I'm willing to take the land off your hands if things get too hot for you. Ha 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 ha. Actually, I don't even own the property yet, so I couldn't sell it even if I wanted to. The deal hasn't gone through yet, but Diggerman only wants to tear down all the gardens to make way for a housing development, or some such thing. And ruin all this natural beauty? And unnatural creatures. Well, no one's scaring me off. But you'd all best leave first thing in the morning, before anything happens to you. We can't just go and leave Professor Greer to the mercy of that creature that's running loose. Sure we can, and he said we should. Let's get some shut-eye and talk about it in the morning. Who could sleep with that creature running around? Right, Daphne. What do you say we go and do a little bit of exploring on our own? I'm with you. <laughs> Imagine them wanting to stay here with that big green thing wandering in the garden. <laughs> What was that? Roar! I know it was the door, but who is it? We're gonna go and check the place out, Shaggy. Wanna come? Oh, like no thanks. Okay, see you in the morning. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> they want us to go along with them when we can be here all by ourselves. <laughs> all by ourselves? Come on, Scoob. There's safety in numbers. Oh. Get that, would you, Scooby? It's just Fred again. Like, who is it, Scoob? Ritz. Rig? Ren. Ren Reen? Ren. Rary! Big and green and scary. Like, don't tell me it's the mantis. Rare. Like, I asked you not to tell me that. <laughs> There's something else strange about this diary. There's no indication of whose diary it was. Fred, Velma, we're being watched. Oh, hello. I'm Eric Arby. The professor's assistant? Professor Greer didn't say anything about having an assistant. I ran off and that creature started terrorizing the gardens. But I couldn't let the professor face it on his own, so I came back to help. To hide, you mean? What are you doing down here? Same thing as you, I guess. Checking things out? Well, maybe we can all work together. Help! Shag, Scoob, what are you up to? Like I am up to here, Fred. I have had it with secret passages and creepy mansions and seven-foot insects scaring me half to death. In fact, I don't think there's anything left that could scare me right now. Yeah! Oh, except that! I'm getting out of here while I still can! 
Eric, come back. The mantis is up there. There's no sign of Eric. Look on the bright side. There's no sign of the mantis either. <laughs> Did you hear that, Daphne? I said that... Daphne? The mantis got Daphne. We've got to find her. Hold on, Valma. This place is a maze of corridors. We need Professor Greer's help. Professor Greer, wake up. Where? Wake up. Wh what's going on? The mantis has taken Daphne. You've got to help us find her. Hey gang, check this out. There's someone out in the garden. It could be the mantis. Come on. I'll be with you as soon as I change. Okay, on three, we grab him. One, two, two and a quarter, ruin a row, two and fifteen sixteenths, three! It's Diggerman, the real estate man. Why don't you kids mind your own business? If somebody's trying to scare the professor away, then that is our business. And why aren't you afraid of the creature, Mr. Diggerman? Hey, he got away. Like no he didn't, Velma. I think he's hiding in here. Get ready, Scoob. They did it! They captured the mantis! Don't be so sure, Fred. I think it's the other way around. Like run, Scoob! Quick! Into this old cabin! <sighs> that was close. Like, don't answer it. Trust me, I've been there. It's not the door. It's coming from this closet. Daphne! That manis took me out here to the caretaker's cabin and left me. So, you're still here, are you? Well, I'm telling you for the last time. To leave and take the professor with you. Nobody's scaring us off, Mr. Keeble. <laughs> like, don't be so sure, Fred. There's something strange going on around here, guys. Like you're just starting to notice that, Velma. Hey, look at the footprints we tracked across the floor. It's a good thing my mother isn't here to see this. But it's not mud we're tracking in. It's oil. Oil? oil. Sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my coat. That's okay, Professor. We found Daphne and we found... Yay! It's the mantis! Run, everybody! Come on, Velma. You heard the professor. Wait a minute. Everything's starting to make sense now. The only thing that makes sense to me right now is running. <laughs> the mantis! Great job, guys. You captured the mantis. Like, hooray for us. Rare. Roo-ray. Now let's see who this mantis really is. Professor Greer? Right. That diary we found in the lab had only one entry in it. Any serious scientist would have kept better record than that. And the equipment wasn't even hooked up, which meant someone obviously set up the lab for a cover. But I could have sworn the mantis was Harry Keeble, or Clive Diggerman, or Eric Arby. It's not me, or me, or me. Our biggest clue to the mantis's identity was in the main hall. Professor Greer left oily footprints, telling us he had been outside, disguised as the creature. But like, Professor Greer was with us when we heard the mantis growl. That was only a sound effect, Shaggy, recorded on tape. But why did he do it? Simple, Daphne. Oil. Diggerman knew it was on the property, and that's why he wanted to buy it. Professor Greer found it when he took over Vulture's Gardens, and then faked the creature so he could scare everyone away until he could finalize the deal to buy the property. Well, I knew there was something fishy going on. Like, don't you mean something 
Buggy, Mr. Keeble. Ha 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 ha. Rare. Scooby-Dooby-Doo.